Hey guys, welcome to the ITS Knot of the Week. Today we're going to be going over the axe hitch and the hammer hitch. So let's get right into it. Okay, so for the hammer hitch and the axe hitch, the purpose behind these is to develop a system to be able to raise them and hand them up to somebody. So this is kind of a walkthrough of some ways that you can do that. So as you'll see on the hammer hitch, what it's doing is gri gripping through the, uh, the nail puller on the back and then through the, the head of the hammer too. And on the axe, because it has a longer handle, you, kinda have, you kind of do it backwards. So you could still use this same method to raise an axe with this type of hitch, but because the axe has a longer handle and typically, you know, if you're hauling an axe, it may not be like a tomahawk size like this. It might be a full axe, so you need to kind of stabilize or control the handle on it and that's what the half hitches are for so as you're raising it which would be raised this way those half hitches act to kind of stabilize um, the axe as you're hauling it up so let's get right into tying these let's go through the hammer hitch first so fairly simple knot all that is involved with this is just really an, an overhand knot type loop so you just make a bite you overhand knot that and tie it off. Really all you're creating is a stopper knot. It doesn't matter what kind of stopper knot you use. You could use a figure eight type stopper knot, anything that's going to grip within this, uh, the nail puller at the back of the hammer. And then all you're going to do now is simply twist a loop like that and tie it the right way. And that's what stabilizes the hammer as you're raising it up. So as you saw there, I twisted the wrong direction, and that's important too. So if you twist the wrong direction, what happens is that this just falls out and you don't really get a good half hitch on there. So twisting the correct direction, it's a little hard doing this upside down. <laughs> twisting the correct up the direction is, uh, is how you'd haul that there. So now let's move on to the axe. Take off these hitches. And basically all we did is kind of the same methodology there, but that same type of overhand knot with a loop just slips over the handle of the axe like this. It comes around like this. So now it, in the direction of pull is coming this way. And now we do those same half hitches again, but you just elongate that half hitch and slip it right over the the handle. So again, you're doing just simple half hitches down the length of the axe handle. And again, direction of pull is this way and it stabilizes that handle as you're raising it up. Thanks for watching the ITS Knot of the Week in HD. For more information, be sure to click the link below in the description and tune in every Tuesday for a new Knot of the Week. Thanks again.